Daniel still family ties. Okay, Whitney said calmly. When I was 14, I wanted to be a nun and my brother wanted to convert to Judaism so he could have a bar mitzvah and have a big party to celebrate. None of those things happened and I don't think Katie is going to move to Iran. Besides, he is an American. He probably doesn't want to live in Iran either for whatever reason. This is his home now. He says he still has relatives there, an uncle and aunt, and a lot of cousins. What if he moves back and she goes with him, and he didn't want to lose her to anyone, in any country? Katie was still her baby. I have a cousin in Iceland. Whitney added, I am not moving there. Annie, you have to let go. You did a fantastic job with them. They are wonderful and your sister would be proud of you. But they are grown up. They have to live their own lives and make their own mistakes. Maybe one of them will marry someone you hate one day. But I don't think any of them are ready to get married yet. Not even Lizzie. And she is old enough. And if they really fuck it up and do make a horrible mistake, which can happen to anyone from any culture, you still have to sit back and watch from the sidelines. It's their life. What you need is a life of your own. You can't hang on to them forever and leave theirs or stop them from making mistakes. That's the deal. Once they grow up, they belong to themselves, not to us. It's horrible and I am going to hate it with my boys when one of them comes home with some raving bitch. But it's going to be their life and their turn, not mine. Annie, you have got to get a life. You put in 16 years for them. You fulfilled your vow to Jane and them some. Now get off the bench and get back in the game yourself. I want you to find a guy. I don't want a guy. I am happy the way I am. I want them to be happy. And I am not just going to sit here with my mouth shut if they screw up their lives or make some dumb mistake. You can't stop them. Whitney said firmly. And Annie had hated hearing it and even more knowing she was right. Why not? Because we don't have that right. It's not healthy for you or for them. They are grown up. Whether you like it or not, you made your mistakes. Let them make theirs. What mistakes did I make? Annie asked, sounding surprised. You gave up your life for them, Whitney said gently. And Annie didn't answer. She had, but it had been the right thing to do at the time. And she had no regrets about it. The last 16 years and been the last 16 years had been the best years of her life and she hardest thing for her to adjust to was that it was over now she had done her job it was time to open the cage and let them fly even if katie wound up live living far away or in a different culture if that was the choice he made no one could stop her nor had the right to, not even any. I don't know if I can just sit back and watch, Annie said honestly. You have no other choice, Whitney said simply. Your job is over. They are going to lead their own lives no matter what. I was a bitter pill to swallow. It was hard enough living with the empty nest, watching them make decisions that might caused them unhappiness latter was even harder you have been lucky so far and you have done a good job i don't think they are going to screw it up now and if they do you can't stop them you can't stop them all you can do is help them pick up the pieces later if they let you and katie could be just as unhappy marrying marrying a guy from Paris or London or New Jersey. I hate this part, Annie said miserably. 
where what they do now impacts their future the stakes are so much higher as they get older it was so much easier when they were little